Good news, guys. We have found the Garden of Eden. <laughs> it's January 18th, and we are talking about the Garden of Eden in today's daily devotionals. We are reading from Pastor Doug Bassler's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. And the question of the day is, where was the Garden of Eden located. My name is Tilla. You guys can follow me on all social media. I also do this on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, links are in the description box if you guys want to follow me there. If you guys want to become Bible prophecy students, if you guys want to know about the mark of the beast, why is it on the forehead? Why the right hand? What about the number 666? What about the buying and selling? You guys can watch the movie from America to Babylon. It's only $5.99 to watch or to stream, or you can buy the DVD and stream the online version for free. Um, links are in the description box. It's full of information there. So again, where was the Garden of Eden located? The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed Genesis 2 and verse 8. I believe that before the flood came on the earth, everyone knew where this garden was located. As an angel was sent to guard the gates to Adam's, uh, Adam's and Eve's first home. Scripture mentions a river that came out of Eden. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it parted and became four Riverheads, Genesis 2 and verse 10. The four rivers mentioned is uh, are Peshan, Gihon, Hedekel, or Tigris, and the Euphrates River. Keeping in mind that the world's geography was greatly altered by the flood, this area corresponds today with the country of Iraq. I like to believe the Lord raptured this garden, raptured this garden from this world to preserve preserve it from the flood. If God can bring the New Jerusalem down from heaven after the millennium, he could have taken the garden up to heaven to save it. Revelation 21 verse 2. A little anecdote, evidence for this can be found in Revelation 22 and verse 2 which speaks about uh, the tree of life in the, in the New Jerusalem. Since this tree was once in the garden, God might have saved the entire area and will restore it uh, in the earth made new. That's, I guess you can say that that's a fair assumption. Could be. It's, it's very interesting to, to think about. As mentioned, after the flood, the earth was radically changed. Perhaps the patriarchs had an approximate idea of where these rivers were now located by ast uh, astronomy. Or it could be that the two rivers that Noah came um, upon after the flood reminded him of two rivers he knew before the world changed. Two of the rivers are actually missing, so you are not going to go wandering around and suddenly stumble on the garden. Did you know that to make lots of oil and coal, it takes a tremendous amount of vegetation to be covered deep underground? Geologists today recognize that though the Middle East, rich with oil, seems largely dry and barren today, it was not always that way. Finally, in Revelation 22 and verse 1, John sees a pure river of water, the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God. Revelation 22 and verse 1. That's a river I'd like to stand next to someday. It kind of confused me a little bit. <laughs> what was this all about? <laughs> I don't know, Pastor Doug. Why, why did he mention the Middle East and rich with oil? And Well, Pastor Doug, you have confused me today. I thought this was about the Garden of Eden, and then now it's talking about the river. So, 
I don't know if I'm gonna put this up. Should I put this up? I don't know. If I don't, then it kind of messes the whole cycle. So there you go. If you guys like this, um, please like and share. If you guys were confused by this, like like I am, please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Where was the Garden of Eden? I don't know. It was in the past. If you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell so that you guys can be notified. Um, and if you guys want to become Bible prophecy students, please watch the movie From America to Babylon. It's only $5.99 to watch to stream the movie or you can buy the DVD and you guys can stream the movie for free online when you guys buy the DVD. Links are in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Praise God always. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.